over here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Newton's disk experiment. It's very simple. It's a motorized disk motor. Now, as you can see, here I have a Newton's disk in my hand. It's very simple, very easy to make. Don't need to struggle at all. The electrical circuitry is very easy. Don't need to struggle at all. Just two batteries, a motor and a piece of wire. That's it. And now, to make it run, you need to make sure there's no loose connection. And you need to join these two. And there you see it's starting to run. And as it gains more speed, it turns more light. So as you saw that, go ahead and watch the video and you also learn how to make the Newton's disk experiment. There you go. Okay, to start off with, we take our compass and position our pencil in it. After that, you can take a radius about 3 cm and you'll need to draw a circle. Then take a ruler and a pencil and divide the circle into 7 parts. As you know, there are 7 colors, that is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. So we'll need to divide the circle into 7 parts. I don't have any accurate measurement. So the white might not come perfectly. If you have any proposed ratio to make the seven uh, parts, then you're going to get the ditto white color. Okay, so after doing that, we are going to cut out the circle. Okay, after doing that, we are just going to darken the lines a bit. I had extra lines drawn, so I am erasing the lighter one. Okay, now we are going to start coloring. First we do off with the violet color. Next the color indigo just next to it. And then blue next to it. Next we color green next to blue. I don't have exact 7 parts. I have made it 8 parts and on the basis of judgment I have cut it into and divided it into 7 parts. We finished yellow and now we are coloring it with orange. Okay, and now we are going to color with the red. Okay, so as you can see, we are almost at the ending of the coloring part. And we finished coloring. Now we are just going to darken the lines a bit with the pencil. Make sure you are not going to use a sketch pen because that may not get you a perfect white.
The motored way of making the Newton's disc is not the only way of making a Newton disc. There are many other ways of making it. If you want me to make a video on the other ways, then just comment and I'm going to consider it seriously and make another video on the Newton's disc. Okay, so now we have finished the coloring part. Now we are going to deal with the electronics involved in the Newton's disc. It's very simple. First of all, we take two batteries and connect them in series. Firmly secure both the batteries using cello tape. Like this. One of the positive ends of the battery should be touching the negative end of the other battery. Since we are connecting it in series, we are going to get three waves. Now we take our wire and we are going to take a little bit more length than the, about the battery. We are going to be taping it to the positive end of the battery. Now we are going to take the motor, place one of the terminals on the negative end and with the wire we will be connecting it to the other terminal of the motor and you can see that the motor spins. If it does not spin, that means that there is a loose connection between the series circuit that is in between both the batteries. They are either not touching or it is that the batteries don't have enough energy to make the motor run. So now we are going to take some tape and place one of the terminals of the motor on the negative side of the battery in this way. And before that we are going to be taking some wire and coiling it around one of the terminals of the battery of the motor. Then we will place the other terminal of the motor to the negative side of the battery. In this manner. Since we have one wire coming from the motor's terminal and one coming from the positive terminal of the battery, it acts like a switch. If you want, you can even install a professional switch, but this is the cheapest way to make the Newton's disc with a motor. Now we are going to take some more tape and secure the wires nicely to the battery. Okay, so now we have finished and we have even tested. The motor is spinning. Now we take our CD Now we are going to take our CD and the place where we have stuck double sided tape we are just going to pierce it from the opposite side and we connect the wires and you will be surprised to see that it is spinning When you join the two wires it starts spinning and make sure you have inserted the motor's jack at the center point of the double sided tape because if the alignment goes wrong your Newton's disc might not gain that much speed. Now we are going to peel off the other end and we are going to stick the color sheet which we had made on top of the CD in this way. Make sure that even this is centered otherwise you might not attain maximum speed. Okay, so after the thing, it will look something like this. Now when we pierce the motor and put it inside this. And when we connect the two wires. If there is a loose connection, you might have trouble in making the motor start. And as you can see, we have connected it and it wasn't secured nicely and tightly so it came off. We are going to try again. Make sure that you secure it nicely. You can even use some glue to secure it properly. Motor stack. And as you can see it has started spinning. And we have attained almost the white color. Not exactly the white but we have almost attained. And now we have taken out the wire. 
and this is the recipe power that is going to be chicken and it comes to a halt point okay so you can even take it out and keep it this is a very compact way of making it so you can dismantle it whenever you want and fix it whenever you want so if this is a school project you can fix it when you take it to school so there will be no worry of anything tearing or breaking 